Hello everyone, this is Dr. K. Anita from CTEC department. In this video, we are going to discuss about directed acyclic graph, that is DAG. So first we'll see the introduction about the DAG. DAG is a useful data structure for applying the transformations to basic blocks. And a basic block can be optimized by constructing this DAG. And this is an efficient method for identifying the common sub-expressions. And usually we construct the DAG from the three address code. Now we'll see the rules for constructing the DAG. Always in the DAG, the leaf nodes can be either identifiers, names or constants. And the interior nodes represent the operators. And while constructing the DAG, we have to check if there is an existing node with the same children. If such node exists, then the new node is created. So, a new node is created only when uh, no such node exists. And this will allow us to detect the common sub-expression and also eliminate the recomputation time of the same. And the last rule is, we will not consider the assignment statements like x equal to while performing the construction of the DAG. So, it is uh, not used unless it is a mandatory. Now, we will consider the simple example for constructing the DAG. Here we have A plus B into A plus B plus C. So first we will construct the three address code for this expression. So first A plus B is assigned to T1. And in the second part we have A plus B plus C. So already it is stored in T1. So we add the T1 with C and store it in T2. And we perform the multiplication of these two parts. Uh, by using the T1 and T2. So now T3 is equal to T1 and T2. Now let us start constructing the DAG. So always the right hand side will be the leaf nodes and the interior nodes and the left hand side will be the label for the operator node. So we will see how this happens. So first we have to consider the statements one by one. So first statement is T1 is equal to A plus B. So first construct the leaf nodes A and then B and connect it with the operator node plus. Now label this node with the LHS that is T1. Next what we have to do we have to consider this T1. Now second statement is T2 is equal to T1 plus C. So already we have uh, T1 here. So we have to add this T1 with the C. So create a node C and the operator node plus and connect it with T1 and C and label this node with T2. Okay, that is left hand side is T2. Now what is the third statement? It is T3 is equal to T1 into T2. So already we have T1 here and T2 here. So connect this with the multiplication operator. So create your interior node that is asterisk and connect it with the T1 and T2 and label this node as T3. So thus we have constructed the DAG for this expression. Now we will see one more example that is elaborated example. Here we have given with the three address code. No expression directly we have given with the three address code which consists of uh, 10 statements. So now we will construct the DAG for this. So we have to move from one statement to another statement in a serial fashion. So first we'll take T1 is equal to 4 into I. As we have done previously, uh, we create the node 4 and then I and connect it with the operator asterisk. And what we have to do after that, we have to label the operator node with the left hand side. So what is the left hand side here? It is T1. So here T1 will be placed. Now, Next, we have second statement is T2 is equal to A of T1. So, already we have T1. We have to connect this with the array operator and the left node will be A and we have to um, label the operator node with T2. So, now we will see the step. So, we have to create the uh, left node as A and have the array operator and connect this A and T1 with this array operator. So A and T1 is connected and we have to label this array operator node with the LHS that is T2. 
Now, what we have to do next, we have to consider the third statement. T3 is equal to 4 into i. So, already we have 4 into i here. So, that's, that is the uh, third rule we have seen. So, if we have the node with the same children, we should not create the new node. So, we have to use the existing node itself. So, existing node already we have assigned it to T1. So, again now we have T3 is equal to 4 into i. So, instead of creating a node, just attach this T3 with T1 here. Like this. Okay. So, place a comma and just put a T3 there. So, now we have completed this statement t3 is equal to 4 into i next we have to perform t4 is equal to b of t3 so already we have t3 here same as previous step we have to introduce the array operator and we have to connect it with b so t3 is there so create a new node b and operator uh, array operator here and connect it with b and t3 and label this node as what is the left hand side it is t4 so label this node as t4 so now uh, t4 is over next is t5 so it is t5 is equal to t2 into t4 so already we have t2 here and t4 here so just we have to create one operator node asterisk and then connect it with uh, t2 and t4 so create the operator node connect with t2 t4 and label the node as T5. So that is the LHS. So we have labeled the node. Next is T6 is equal to P plus T5. Already we have T5 here. So we have to create one more node called as P. Create the node P and create the node plus and add it with P and T5. And the label for this P plus T5 is T6. So T6 is labeled. Now next statement is P equal to T6. So, already we know that T6 is there. P equal to T6 means whatever T, uh, expression is applicable to T6 that is applicable to P also. So, that is already existing. So, just attach the P in uh, next to T6. So, like this we have to attach. So, T6 comma P. So, okay. So, next is T7 equal to I plus 1. So, we have I here. So, we have to create one new node 1. And then we have to add it with the plus operator. And what is the left hand side? It is T7. So that will be the label of this operator node. So that is T7. And finally, we have I equal to T7. So I equal to T7 means uh, as uh, uh, T7 and both I evolve into the same expression. Just to create one more node next to T7 called I. And uh, last statement is we have to check if i is less than or equal to 20. So, i current i is this one. So, we have to check whether this i is less than or equal to 20. So, create a node 20 and the operator less than or equal to and connect this i and 20 and check whether it is less than, uh, less than or equal to 20 or not. And if it is 20, less than 20, less than or equal to 20, then we have to go to 1. So, create the labeled node 1 here. So, thus we have completed the DAG for this 3 address code. So, we have to construct the 3 address code and then we have to construct the DAG according to the uh, statements one by one. So, thank you.